Hey, Greg here with Yardiac. We're going to talk a little bit tonight about the Brio Y series fire pit. Brio was generous sharing this with me to take a look at it and do a brief review. If this is your first time joining us at Yardiac, thanks for joining. If you've been here before, well, hey, I guess that's a good thing, right? So, Anyhow, the Brio, uh, we look at the solo stoves a lot. We look at the Brios. You can look back at some of our other videos and on our website and see some reviews there. The Brios, I love that they're American made, made in Pennsylvania. These things are as solid as can be with real steel, thick steel. They're heavy. I believe this one here is 31 pounds. The Y series is a little bit of a change. It has a ton of the same features that Brio has always had, but this is more of a travel companion. So you can see down front a carry handle. That thing's even got bottle openers on each side of the carry handle. Uh, the legs have three different positions. They'll collapse completely for traveling. This is the middle position they're in right now just to enjoy a fire pit and they'll go one step higher. It's probably about eight inches taller for just helpful when you're cooking. Get it up at a little bit higher level for when you want to cook, and we'll take a look at some of the cooking elements later. It does have a top sear plate here that's about three, four inches deep that allows you uh, to throw a steak on there, maybe a thin steak, a New York strip or something, or some shrimp or something along those lines, some kebabs I think you could fit on there. And then there's a grill that can go up top. And again, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. One of the things that we've noticed about this, we've probably burned about a half dozen fires in this fire pit. And it is, the steel is sort of adjusting to the different heat levels and such. You might see some movement, hear some creaking in some of the metal as it shifts and moves, swells up, uh, that sort of thing. The sear plate on top, we've seen it elevate just a little bit and then just come back to normal. So again, these are normal things with metals, natural materials that do just shift with temperature differences. And obviously if you've got a hot fire in there, it's going to do that. But holding together well. Again, these things are so solid and I love that they're made here in the States. You know, we've burned a, a good number of fires in the Brio fire pits as well as some other fire pits. I look at, the, at it this way. They each have their own pros and cons. None of them are perfect. None of them are absolutely smokeless. Uh, they are remarkably smokeless for wood burning fires. I, I will say that. And a lot of that too, and you can see this on some of our articles on the site, uh, has to do with the type of wood you're burning and how dry the wood is, the type of wood, all of those different factors play into it. So uh, these fire pits, they look great. They, uh, I, I find them to be much more attractive than a lot of the other fire pits that are out there on the market. Some of which look a bit like a washing machine drum and stainless steel. These just look nice, set up on the legs. Some of them come with that Corten steel wrap, which, which rusts over time and just gives a great rustic look. So, you know, it really does depend what you're looking for. This one has a ton of great accessories, the ability to cook with this one and, and everything just sets it apart in its own way. If you are looking for just strictly the cleanest, nicest, easiest burning fire pit, this may not be it, but it's very close and it has a ton of other features that are as nice or nicer than the other fire pits that are out on the market. So to give you my opinion on these uh, Brio fire pits, I really do like them. They are super well made with very good materials. I love that they have these sort of separate legs that just give them a different look and elevate them off the ground. Once you keep this off the ground, we've had a lot of questions at Yardiac about, can you put this on a wood deck? Can you have this on concrete? Is it gonna kill the grass that's below it? You know, when there's enough space, most of the heat on these is coming to the very top of the fire pits. And so not that it's not hot down there at the bottom of the fire pit, but when you've got this gap three inches off the ground, you are gonna be good and safe on concrete. You're not gonna crack your concrete. You're not gonna burn up your wood deck. Obviously you wanna watch these things, 
uh, but I really do like these Brios. Each of the fire pits, Brio, Solo, and there's a bunch of knockoffs out there right now, uh, are great fire pits, and they do different things. The Brio is made well with phenomenal materials, and it's made in the USA. You know, it's not imported. It's not coming in from overseas. Uh, we've had a lot of comments about how expensive they are. Uh, yes, are they more expensive than the other fire pits that are out there? Sure, they, they definitely are. But what I tell people all the time is there is no way to use the kind of quality materials with the thickness of steel that's used and have these made and welded up in the United States and sell them for a dirt cheap price. It just doesn't happen. You're either, as a company, you're not gonna make any money, you're gonna lose money, or you're gonna have to pay people wages that are unsustainable. So I love what Brio's doing. They're fitting a, a nice niche in the marketplace to just build a great fire pit. And is it like the absolute finest, best fire that's gonna burn the cleanest out of all the fire pits out there? It may not be, but it burns really well and it burns very clean. None of the fire pits, the ones smokeless fire pits burn absolutely smokeless. Depends on the wood you use. And, uh, you know, so anyhow, great fire pits, a little bit more expensive, but you're getting what you pay for with a Brio. The Brio Outpost grilling cooking system is really quite nice. All of the fire pits have the whole slot on the top to slide this outpost system down into. The grill plate is adjustable up and down to get you further away from the fire and manage your temperatures as you're grilling. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to roast chestnuts over the open fire. We're here in apple country, so we like to roast apples over an open fire. Pulled the apples off some trees in the backyard here and we'll enjoy them after the shoot. So this outpost grill is a great accessory, even apart from the fire pit. Uh, solid steel rod, that thing is not bending. Adjustable grill plate that you can move up and down to control your temperatures. This here allows you to take that outpost grill, attach this to the bottom and set it into the ground wherever you are out camping uh, using it around another fire at your house, you can use this outpost grill. So you do not have to use it with a Brio fire pit. It comes with a nice carry bag for that, uh, for the grill plate. Uh, just a super nice accessory and fun to be able to cook with a nice burning fire, clean burning fire. Hey, if you lasted this long to the end of the video, thanks for joining. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Please share your comments in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Like the video if you do like it. If you don't, obviously be straightforward and honest with us. We appreciate it. Have a great day.